You're in the wrong talk. Yes, welcome to the current state of security in an improv. Improvspection. So with Sean Metcalf and Nick Carr, or as it's known, I was here for the ETW talk, and it's just a little bit awkward now to leave in front of us. So that's okay. Thanks for being here. And uh, do you have a clicker thing? Perfect. Yeah. I come prepared. All right. So why are we here? Hey, um, Nick, you were supposed to work on the slides. Uh, I mean, I did work on the slides. There's like six Dude, things we're going to cover. Dude, you tweeted this out. I thought you were working on it. Yeah, this is fair. So, all right, here's what happened. So I started to work on this slide. Why are we here? Originally, I was going to so kind of set expectations for everyone so people aren't grumpy about whatever it is we do. And uh, then it kind of like, it was supposed to be for you. Like, why are we, why are we here? But then it kind of like spoke to me. Like, why are we here? It was pretty uh, <laughs> existential. And I, I it was obvious I was... You. I, yeah, I was procrastinating a little bit. So uh didn't really come up with it. But the there's there's two decisions that got us here. I do know that. One would be the decision to submit this talk, and the second would be your decision to attend. So So you're here. So you validated us already. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about what's why we submitted, what state we're in, and uh, I think the the more questionable one is you guys, because everyone looks kinda all right right now. So uh We're in Kentucky. Yes. Well, we are in Kentucky. Louisville, I think. So let's bring back to a time uh, long ago, one year ago, to a place not far from here, literally uh, probably 200 feet that I met way. Nick. We had dinner. Yes. There might have been some drinking involved. You know, there might have been some. Oh, well, I have the shirt, too. Uh, Clicker. There. So there, there was is. some drinking involved. Last year, DerbyCon 2016. Yeah. So right over there in the lobby, and uh, uh, there was definitely some drinking involved. And this guy, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> so no, but we were talking. We we had a couple a couple pops uh, for anyone that hung out with us that night. Sorry, and uh, we talked about the person that submitted the talk. That you know how I how I got a free ticket to to Derby. How, how do you get a ticket for Derby? Exactly. And he got to speak. Got so to speak. Like, had well, no idea what he's going to talk this. about. He got accepted, and then. He put together the talk. I was like, this was a genius plan. Except he made one mistake. He then, like, after he got accepted, he put together a talk. Like a real talk. Yeah. So so we're not going to do that. We're no. going to just submit with nothing and then present nothing. We're yeah, going to do... So here's what we're doing. This, that's what this is. No, so the real the, the real thing, though, too, is we work on interesting breaches and, and, and stuff all, all the time. And we don't really get the opportunity to talk about them. Most of them you'll never... Most of them we can't talk about. Many of them you'll probably never hear about. So... These, this is some stuff we can't talk about because it, it didn't happen. But if we fictionalize it and it's an ed entertainment talk. Yeah, that sounds hypothetical. So we'll see where it goes. <laughs> so uh, you want to get, kick us, kick, get us started here? Sure, I will do that. Um, you can read, so I won't read this. Um, my name is Sean Metcalf. I'm an Active Directory Security Guy and one-time Evil Corp CIO impersonator. If you were at my talk last year. Founder of Trimark Security Company. We have a booth up there. We... Sometimes have fidget spinners. We're all out for the day, but in the morning we'll have more. Microsoft certified master in Active Directory. Sure. Uh, one about 100 in the world. What? What's that? Oh, yeah, the MVP thing. Um, I thought uh, I thought that's for active community members that are. Yeah. Um, let me fix that. And let's yeah. fix that entirely. Okay, we're good. Yeah, maybe if this was DerbyCon 2015. Yeah. Something. I I think it's in the program. You all can edit your own program. <laughs> Um, and I also post interesting things on adsecurity.org. I let's replace the MVP with I once won a spitting contest with a camel. We don't need to get into that. And one time armadillo racer. We we do need to get into that. We do need to get. What's that? Who wants to hear about the armadillo racing? Woo! Okay. So I was in Texas for a while, and um, apparently racing armadillos is a thing. And so you can sign up and race these armadillos. Thing about armadillos is they don't like to actually run. You have to encourage them. You don't have to beat them or anything like that. It's nothing, nothing, well, I guess it is kind of weird. You, you, you get them going by like yelling behind them, and if you blow on them, they move faster. And my armadillo did not like my breath and took off. And so guess what I won? A can of pasteurized armadillo milk. Wow. Yeah, fantastic. See, I said everyone just hears the same stuff, so we give a little bit, uh, something a little bit different. So I'm Nick Carr. I am uh, uh, work on the Mandiant Incident Response Team. More recently, we got a little, little badge here in our Advanced Practices Team working on um, uh, advanced detection efforts. I love those gold-plated guns. That's pretty cool. Yes. There's a, may or may not be some uh, jerseys that we wore uh, to Cabana in Vegas, too. So we got some swag. Uh, kind of a crisis manager full-time. 
uh, and uh, we'll keep it professional. We'll keep it a little bit loose here. Uh, spoke last year, uh, the circuit with uh, Matt Dunwoody on No Easy Breach. So if you actually want real breach information, you can check that talk out. That's got some more helpful stuff, maybe. Uh, factual, perhaps. Uh, and I'm a noted spook and a very nasty piece of work. According to Twitter, which, as we know, that's Twitter the, is accurate. That's an accurate source based on some of the APT32 stuff. So I like to say I live my life on the periphery of fascinating. Let me give you a couple of things maybe I shouldn't. I registered EquifaxSecurity2018.com. It was me Oops. if people were interested in it. I can show Don't you the GoDaddy registration. I was asked to do it. So... Uh, I was uh, the OPM investigator, so my name was for the good for the, for the good investigation. My name was blacked out in that congressional report to Congress. Uh, there's a couple things wrong in it too, so maybe again if we okay. Oh no, definitely not that. Uh, watched APT 28 compromise a bunch of politicians like uh, live, so that was neat seeing that happen and then it being in the news. Speaking of politicians, I also used to spend a lot of time at Paul Manafort's house. This is one that could get me in okay, trouble. Is this recorded? Is this, like, so I dated his daughter for a year. So some interesting stories. <laughs> So here's our agenda. That's pretty much it. And so without much further ado, um, there will be shenanigans, hooliganism, and malarkey. Yeah, like a Irish sobriety test. Ready? Reading that. Yeah. And go. Drink! <laughs> uh, I thought this was the part where you did something. I thought they were going to say something. Honestly, oh, okay. I don't... All right, so, yeah. <laughs> we, we don't actually know anything about improv. <laughs> if that's... Not clear at this at this juncture. It should be now. Um, I actually uh, was getting on the flight and I downloaded a podcast uh, about like improv. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I was just like learned some improv on this plane for for forty five minutes. It was a lot of uh, bippity boppity bap and all these. Uh, if there's real improv people in here, I apologize. Is all these uh, uh, zip zap zip past the clap? That's the name of a game. That's interesting. Definitely hey, Nick, not I, I have an idea. At, in InfoSec cons, they always drop like this demo and do like something really cool, so like a hack thing. So I thought we should throw something like that, that in, so that way the audience would get really into it. Oops, so let's show you a really cool hack where we actually spoof a cryptographic <laughs> signature. And so it's pretty awesome at the bottom because using Mac Graber stuff, we were able to do this. And as you can see, the signature is the same. So. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Definitely. So, it, it, you know, it got a, such a great re reaction yesterday at the keynote. I, yeah, we, I feel like we not, just right? crushed it. I'm feeling really good yeah, about I that. Yeah, I feel good. Okay. <laughs> so things we need. We need your help. Um, yes. Okay. And all of your ideas. Oh, if you, if anyone normally says this, like, that would be a horrible job. Like, like and we need your help and all of your ideas. But all just of your, all for, of them. for us, just hang with us. So actually... Real quick shootout. We don't even know if we'll use them because we don't do improv. A couple, like, what's a potential victim organization who got compromised? And not like a real one in real life, but something kind of interesting. Yeah, it would be pretty awkward if you did a real one. Come on, it probably. Hustler. If it, Hustler. Hustler. There you go. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, attack techniques. Let's throw something out there. Squibbly do. Squibbly do. This is How, getting real right now. Yeah, it's really getting real. <laughs> really, really real. And uh, someone give me like some threat intel. What are we, who, what are we working with here? Who's, who's... Pajamas. pajamas. I like it. Oh, see, I heard North Korea. North Korea pajamas. And pajamas make sense. I was wondering yeah, when we were talking yeah. threat intel. I was, I was, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I did not recognize the country. There's an animal here. So something pajamas. Got it. All right. So we'll uh, we'll just try to make some stuff up. Yeah, that works. All right. So <laughs> let's go. So what we've done is uh, we've packed a flyaway kit right, for our IR, step one. We actually both just threw things in here, and neither one knows what it is. But uh, we're in front of you guys, the clients, so we got to make the best of it. And uh, really, dude, the, you're supposed the, to get the Pelican, the Pelican case. Well, what is this thing? I don't work for Mandy yet. So <laughs> the first thing you have to do is dress appropriately in front oh, of your customer. sweet. Okay. So, um, All right. We have to look professional. Sean has actual props. Why don't you grab some things out of this room and uh, get it started, uh, you know, get ready for this IR. So also when you're in front of a customer, you need to keep a uh, straight face and, and not break in front of them at all. And that way that they, they know that you're serious. Here you go. You get this one. Sure. Okay. Wow. Sean, has, Sean has triplets. We can tell he's got toys. Um, sometimes you need to be prepared to defend yourself against all attackers, all invaders. Um, nice. Pirate swords are really good at that. Um, Mm. Sweet. Oh, nice. 
Well, uh, no, actually, this is if this is from their RIF. If you're running yeah. Legacy, it is a dinosaur. <laughs> And so we put this on top yes. of racks where we can't really patch them or do anything with them. Yes. So sometimes that can be problematic. Yep. Um, Nick is al always uh, dressed really well, so we want to make sure exactly. that he, he keeps that up. Um, the screen glare in this room is, uh, you know, we try to... This can be too bright and exciting for, for people who are prone to seizures. So well, let's go with something a little more interesting. This will protect us from a Sharknado. I think I just stuffed some hotel room items in here too. What, uh, oh what yes, our Faraday cage. That way Sweet. we can put electronics in it. Um, nice. I learned this trick from Snowden. Uh, he he like, tweeted about it or something. You, you put your phone in here and that way um, no one can actually attack your phone or something. And so, uh, yeah, so that's Checks a good out. idea. Phone. And that way, um, you know, APTs can't take over your, your, your phone while you're, while you're communicating. Because if they can infiltrate your comms about the breach, that could be a really bad day, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Um, OPSEC, step one. Fair yeah. cages. And so we want to make sure that we don't have any, any intruders on our team that are sneaking wow. and listening. Um, so we make sure that they're not around. Um, and so we also have to have some sort of protection against them. So we got, our, we got our halo gun, right? <laughs> and, and that way we're ready with our, with our needler. Um, and so there's, there's probably some other stuff. Uh, yeah, so... Um, this, is, this is definitely from the room. <laughs> this is uh, it's for uh, Ergo so keyboard. When, so when Nick has thing. his suits, um, he needs to make sure that they're protected and taken care of and that they don't yes. wrinkle because... You know the mandiant way. You've got you, you, to dress to You've got to dress to impress, exactly. Um, Nick, I'm not sure. That's a mace. That okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is, is a mace. It is a mace. All right. Oh, so. oh my God. Yeah. All right. So what else we got in here? Um, well, this sometimes the job can be really crappy. And when you're in a breach scenario, you run up to all sorts of things that are just yeah. crappy. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay with that. Um, oh, and of course, the most important thing you can do is communicate with your customer when you're in a breach scenario and you're, you're on site, or just in general. As a good consultant, you need to breach. Uh, you need to be involved. So you want to make sure that you have a good open line of communication. Nice. So we have our, our bat phone here, so that way our customer can reach us. So when we decide to go out for lunch for, what, like three hours? Yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Yeah, it's, it's good. In fact, um, you know, it's also nice when you get to stay in a suite. That's pretty cool. Um, sometimes you want to make sure that you have um, a way to heat up your food because you end up Work working a long, long time. And, and you don't always have access to a microwave. So you can, you can heat things up with a, a hair dryer pretty well. Um, yeah. Fair. And let's see. I don't really know how these got in here, but we're not going to talk about we, that. Wow, we do really good attribution. We, tend, we you know, do we just have to be ready just in case we get the North Koreans. Oh yeah, Koreans. and now we can dual wield, so that's good. Sweet. I'm glad that we have the double needler. That's that's really helpful. So, all right, and and uh, some subliminal stuff here. Well. Uh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. All right, and scene. I think we lost our presentation. We're, I'm I'm blocking it with a guy. Uh -huh. I'm a professional I'm presenter. I kind of feel bad for whoever follows us. There's going to be random stuff around the room. So do Are we you, have, uh, so we want to do uh, the next part, obviously, after you get unpacked, you get ready to do the, the investigation, is you uh, you have to kind of get stuff scoped out. So can we get a CISO? You want to grab someone? Debo, come on up. We wanted it. We wanted it. We, we were hoping Debo would be here. He's so big. Move around. Debo, come on up. Come on yes. up. Yes. Give him a round of applause. Debo. Plus, you gotta have a. We'll talk about ob obfuscation, obfuscation. What is it? Puff, puff, puff. Right here, so that way everyone can see him. <laughs> I always feel so small standing next to Debo. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, we've unpacked and we're we're ready to go. And I just wanted to come in and uh, get things scoped out. Thanks for your time with you and your uh, your your team. Are you on my team? What? We're, we've grown so much at Mandy and so I actually So I'm don't a know. consultant. Ah. I kind of bounce around, but I'm here to help you out and help him out. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So, uh, Mr. Sizzo, thank you for sending me the cell phone picture of your computer screen. That's a great initial lead uh, that, you know, that some shifty government agency told us to, to provide. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so so uh, a couple questions, and you can answer, too. Uh, we just we just need to, to get things started. So how many? Uh, so so what is the lead? Like what 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 did the agency call you about? 
Uh, this, does your, your team know your VP of threat intel? Things are not going well. Things are not going well for, our, for this CISO. When, when you get a call from the FBI, um, after you hear from Brian Krebs, it's usually a bad day. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're going to need to find out from you a couple things to get started. We like to, we're kind of going to deploy endpoint and network technology. So uh, like how many endpoints do you have in your environment? Ten? <laughs> Eleven? Fifteen? I don't know how to interpret. Stop asking the question. Oh my God! Wow. Okay. Okay. How many? Uh, how many Active Directory forests do we got? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Two. Okay. Two. Peace. Okay. Uh, and of course, they're connected by a two-way trust, so mm. everything trusts everything. Nice. Oh, and don't that's forget That's going to make it really great on. for deploying our Don't forget the tech. one in the DMZ. There's one in the DMZ, so that's always connect, also connected by a trust. Nice. Bad idea. <laughs> well, the first thing, we're going to actually, um, we're going to push out our um, uh, malware uh, uh, endpoint agent. <laughs> and, and, uh, we don't call it malware. <laughs> got it. The, the bad so guy's it, using the malware. Got it. So it... So it, it's actually going to call back to us, right? And we control what it's going to do. Uh, but no, so actually like malware, like, um, uh, like some other stuff, it's using uh, scripts now. So it actually just uses a bunch of scripts. So it's, uh, we're going to launch it. And uh, perfect. <laughs> it sounds like we're getting ready to go. So um, how many network egress points do you have too? Because we're going to, we, we have network sensors. Okay, this is this is good. One hundred. Is this about one hundred fifty thousand uh, last time? He's, 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 I think what he's trying to say is they have uh, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Okay, you can't. I I don't know that you can afford what we're we're trying to do here. So we're, we'll just maybe like scatter around a bunch of Raspberry Pis running snort. Is that like a thing that you can do? Okay, perfect. We'll get we'll cover your guest wireless and then you'll be good. Okay, great. Well then, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, thanks. I think we're gonna get uh, started here. Thanks for so much information about the breach. We're gonna actually um, deploy this agent and we're gonna uh, sweep your entire environment, and then uh, we'll probably keep billing. We'll probably so literally we, sweep your environment. So what do we know so far? I mean, what's the situation? Are are are, are they in a good situation or a pretty bad situation? I mean, you're. This is kind of the situation. This is what we tend to walk into, but I'm thinking it's not so good for you. If you're, yeah. Yeah. You might want to update your LinkedIn. <laughs> Just. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair. Seen. Thank you, Sizzo. You did pretty good. <laughs> Go to his talk too. After okay, this one. Why don't you come up here? Yeah. This is where we switch places. Uh -huh. I'm going to sit it's over here good. quietly. Perfect. So, um, yes. Thank you. We're going to do. Uh, so we, we've finished the investigation, and we wanted to uh, sit here in front of you, the executives, and this room full of uh, lawyers. So. First of all, Mr. CEO, you've done a great job. This is industry standard for breaches, uh, about 100 uh, external counsel, spending your money uh, very well. Um, and, we have uh, lots of extra I think people that want to hear about what happened. Yeah. They do not need to be in this room. Uh, Spectre, Spectre, and Ops, I think, is the firm they've brought you in. You definitely here. don't want them uh, in the room. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we're going to step through kind of what occurred in your environment. We're going to talk about how you really messed up. <laughs> And uh, uh, it's going to be okay. No, it's not. It is absolutely not okay. You have 57 egress points, and you decided to connect your DMZ forest to your production forest. So, so um, the initial compromise uh, occurred really not not too long ago. I'll set you up uh, with that. It was about nine months ago. They didn't realize it until a month ago. <laughs> well, and uh, you know the attacker was mainly present in the uh, environment, not doing too much. Maybe just conducting recon. Present, but not really present. That's like kind of. Like my wife would say, maybe injecting that I shell code everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, from there, they uh, they they didn't. Uh, I think the goal was financial with the North Koreans, uh, and I heard 
uh, Bitcoin shouted out. That's really what they're after. Of course, uh, Hustler, a lot of people are paying it, it, with Bitcoin now because that's what people do. And it's, you know, off the record, maybe. And uh, yeah, so the, the good news is that they didn't really uh, get to your crown crown jewels. But they got all of their email and they had domain admin access for at least 24 days. Uh, so they didn't get uh, they didn't get your your uh, track data from from your customers, which is good. Of course, I'm referring to like track like music tracks like <laughs> they didn't take your iTunes library. They, they definitely did take all of the credit cards, all of them. <laughs> So even those, discover it's yeah. everywhere you don't want it to be. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. And, uh, that's pretty much that, uh, you've broken a couple rules. We've actually just prepared you and the lawyers have teamed up to, uh, handle the oncoming, uh, PCI investigation, which was going to be horrible, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, that it'll be, it'll be quick and uh, easy and won't take very long and uh, it's gonna take years to clean this up and millions of dollars <laughs> so so let's get into uh, maybe um, some remediation uh, you know actually I want to hit on threat Intel so I, it, we do know um, Mandiant classifies this as uh, apt 47 fuzzy bunny and uh, <laughs> we have a, a significant amount of experience with apt 47 hacked microwaves <laughs> yeah they uh, they it's an internet of things group uh, the th things being dishwasher, your website as well. You just Blow hustle. dryers, yeah. Personal appliances. <laughs> That's a personal appliance. Yes. <laughs> Hair brushes. So brushes. They're they're very advanced. Uh, this group. They is... use the phishing email that had a macro exploit. <laughs> So, and a web download. It was a zip. The user downloaded 20 times and tried to open it 15. <laughs> it was the domain admin and the CEO. <laughs> Too real right now. Uh, so, yeah. Nick and I have not talked about this previously. I'm making this up as we go along. So, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the threat intel background. Of course, we're going to put out a, uh, uh, we're going to provide all the samples over to your, uh, your AV company and but they're, they're rushing to put a blog about it. already all on virus total. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and then with that, I think we want to talk about remediation. Um, you need to burn it down and start over. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know how there's multiple networks at government agencies, they have multiple networks. That's something maybe you should start considering, maybe like another network. It don't connect everything to the internet, and your guest <laughs> wireless should not be connected to production. So uh, so thank you for your time to, to kind of close we this We really out. didn't want to be here, but we get paid for this. <laughs> now, I do understand you had a couple questions uh, about we, the expense report that you've been receiving. We were in a baller suite, <laughs> and we ate all the steak. Yes, uh, I, <laughs> the mini bar was totally on the expense, expense report. Yes, uh, so we can run over those items. We can back a couple things out if there's an issue. We will course, absolutely not back out anything. <laughs> you, <laughs> based on your network environment, you're going to be paying for this for a long time. So this is uh, this is industry standard. Yes, of course, uh, we we have the robes which we've been wearing all week from the hotel. <laughs> so we, we took at least twenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the slippers. So thank you for having us. And actually what we wanted to do was go ahead and uh, set you up with a team that's going to come in afterwards. And have We're going to charge you a lot more money because you deserve it. <laughs> and uh, I think you'll meet them soon. So thank you for, for your time. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see the bill in the middle. You'll uh, be seeing us now. for years. Thanks a lot. <laughs> So uh, we did want to quickly come and just pitch some tech to 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 the to the CISO who who came here uh, who's breached and, and actually the new CISO because they always dump the, the previous yeah, CISO out. even if it he's wasn't out. their fault. So, the so you guys have plussed up your team huge. We just want to really quickly let you guys know uh, if you have concerns if there's tech you've heard about if, who's heard about some really just fancy stuff out there. We can get it adapted for your environment. What, what do you guys have? Uh, have you heard of? I mean, what 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 do you need? Uh, so with my company at my booth here, we have. Artificial Fidget spinners, ma mach machine spinners. Oh, and so nice. what happens is somebody actually spins these around, and they force through gravitational plax waves the <laughs> the energy into the system. So it's completely carbon neutral, which is important today. 
Very nice. So we uh, we have a number of tech, uh, you know, people feel free to shout out, but one of the things that's really big right now is uh, cloud EDR, cloud detection. Ooh, deception. Nice. So we actually host like a detection, a deception platform uh, in AWS. So uh, it's going to redirect uh, attackers to this and it, it simulates your environment. Um, we now, I should be clear, I'm AWS, sorry. it's we, actually just the Amazon homepage. We're actually better. We hire hackers off the dark net and we just have them work in your environment and that way you're secure. Perfect. Through the cloud, of course. What I, I missed one. What do we got? Orchestration. It's yes. I mentioned the music earlier, so the music's safe. <laughs> but the orchestration team's going to come in, and it's like about a ten-piece setup. Oh, well, we got a twenty-piece. Wow. We've got four tubas. Come on now. <laughs> so we're actually going to. They are the cyberest of tubas. We're actually going to wrap this quickly because we're getting to wrap it up. So that's the end of our uh, mini breach scenario. We hope you. I be shocking if you learned something, but <laughs> I hope you had a little bit of fun. Uh, I, I did warn you this is for entertainment only and there's some real stuff thrown so, in. So, real stuff. No matter what happens, the, all kinds of crazy stuff can happen. We've seen pretty much anything. Uh, well, we thought we've seen everything. But John was going to talk a little bit about how to avoid in the, one minute. The goal is happen. you don't want this to happen to you, right? This is not how you want your customers to realize there's a problem. Uh, there's a number of ways to help protect against this. So this is where we kind of talk for real for about three minutes or so. Um, I've talked about these a lot of times. Initial foothold. There's a way to get some good things um, in place. Attackers love using PowerShell. They love phishing. They love using macros. You can protect this. Even if you get 30, 40, 50 percent of your users locked down to a good state where they're fairly secure and sending logs back, you can get in a really good uh, position because most of the time system, systems engineers want an 80 or 90 or 100 percent solution. You don't need that. In security, a 30, 40, 50 percent solution is, is great especially if you have five or six different uh, mitigations in place and each of those are deployed to 50 percent. That's half. You've done a really good job. I, I do numbers. Nice. And and uh, all these slides will be up and available. Sean's got a lot of good data, but stay on top of different ways people are launching things from their uh, office lures. Like macros, definitely lock them down, but people are in like Fin7, put out a lot on those guys, but embedding these uh, OLE objects in LNK files and then there's a bunch of profilers that you don't need any of these methods, and they're just uh, measuring targets and identifying people. So uh, lock it down. But the most important thing you can do is protect your admin creds. Um, a lot of people have been speaking about admin workstations. I know it's a pain in the ass, but it makes the single biggest, most impactful change in your network. Put your domain admins on an admin workstation. There's red teamers in here. If, you're, if the DAs in an environment, <coughs> excuse me, would be only on admin workstations. Would that mess up your day? Yeah. Shout it out. Yeah. What if there was no connectivity from the rest of the network to that system? Oh, <laughs> what if that those admin workstations for DAs had a completely different management infrastructure and patching infrastructure than workstations? That would really wreck your day, wouldn't it? These are some really important things that you can do. Um, you can protect things. These things at the bottom, remove NetBIOS over TCP IP, disable LLMNR, disable WPAD. Who's heard of Responder? Doing all three of those things destroys Responder type stuff. Red Teamers, you use Responder? It's the easy button, right? Defenders, you turn these off, Responder doesn't work so well anymore. <laughs> the, the Red Teamers saying, please don't. Um, you can actually strengthen things up too. LDAP signing, also SMB signing. SMB signing stops NTLM relay. Wouldn't that wreck your day, Red Teamers? Yeah, um, so work to get SMB v1 off, install the patch. Um, that screws up a lot of other things that red teamers are trying to do. And, and we talk about this a lot, is like shaping the attacker. If not only does it lock it down make it harder, it's going to make the red teamers work harder. It gives you more of a, a chance of actually detecting this stuff. It's crazy to think you're going to be able to detect everything that occurs in, in a breach in general. But to, to piece and, and together the initial we're, point. We're, we're over shape. time. So non-Windows, here's what you do. Patch Apache struts. And conclusion, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this was fun. Thank you very much.